A mother of three disappeared from her home. Questions remain. Her fiance is now facing two separate charges in crimes unrelated to her disappearance. Tiffany Foster went missing on March 1st after leaving her home to go shopping. She hasn't been seen since. Hope Ford talked to investigators and has a timeline of what has happened since the mother went missing. It was March 1st when Tiffany Foster left her apartment in Noonan. She went shopping, texted her mom, and has not been heard from since. It's still a very active investigation, yes. Yeah, we're, we're getting leads and, and we're following them. A day later, she didn't show up for class at Georgia Military College and was officially reported missing. On March 5th, she didn't go to work. And on March 8th, her car was found in College Park with items she wouldn't go without. Her debit card, uh, her purse, keys to her residence. On March 11th, Foster missed a flight to Texas. She already paid for. And on March 23rd, her fiance Reginald Robertson and her sister talked to reporters. It's just unusual. She would never not go without talking to those kids. It's heartbreaking to have to look my niece and nephews in the face and, you know, I don't know what to tell them. On April 8th, someone was arrested and charged with theft for moving Foster's car from Noonan to College Park. The person arrested, her fiance. But investigators say the charges are not related to Foster's disappearance, with Coweta County Sheriff Lynn Wood saying at the time, Robertson was not a suspect. On April 21st, Robertson was arrested for a second time, charged with kidnapping and aggravated assault for a crime that happened before Foster went missing. We asked investigator Toby Nix if the crime involved Foster. I don't know at this time. They also said they did not know during this press conference that they would later arrest Robertson for any crime. Robertson is still not charged in connection to Foster's disappearance and investigators say they're still looking for the missing mother. We're investigating this and she's missing and we're trying to locate her. Robertson said the last time he talked to Foster was when she left the home on March 1st. He remained at home with her daughter. We have more on this story on 11alive.com.